Hi hey guys, this video is for the ISO builders. So in Arcanlix, you can gradually learn more and more and more about your system, about Arch, and then build something up. And the something is actually the soul, the look, the design, choice of applications, and then you can give it a name. And then you have your own distribution. So Carly is a customized Arch Linux ISO with lots of information. And we do have some information about Calamaris. And of course, in here is information about Calamaris. In ALCI is information about Calamaris. In AA is information about Calamaris. But this video is focused on some settings in Calamaris that some users at this point in time are, are graduating, so to speak. And we have our long list of people that uh, create their own vision of things, choices to make PTRFS and so on. You see all the themes and the applications on these videos. How would I proceed? Well, first of all, I'll, I'd always tell these guys, look, if you wanna really follow everything up, you need to go into Calamaris, so github.com slash Calamaris slash Calamaris and git clone it. And from time to time, I do it myself, I say git pull. Then I see the work these guys have done. So if they've been working on the partition uh, module and uh, working on the encrypt widget, an encrypt widget user interface, and that's already information, knowing that they have been writing in the code, changing some things rather much, right? A lot of things, 26, 29, it gives you an idea where and what has changed, not yet technically right but already an idea a notion of what's changed because we need to follow up this free uh, calamaris or linux installer the modules itself uh, is what we're gonna talk about where are you calamaris document source here the source i think i've organized my folders by date and not by name so i'm quickly changing that modules so it's alphabetically now from the b to the z and these are all the modules we can use what i say of course to you is read not only read the readme but read the code as well so all of this needs to be read by you here is a settings.conf and you compare what i do on carly alci arconix now we have so many more. All these guys have GitHubs. All these guys up here have GitHubs. Compare how did they build it, right? This is the how to build Arch on Linux ISO. So go and, and compare. Well, what we're gonna do now is, is get started with, um, let's say desktop number four, Super F7 in our case is a keyboard shortcut for virtual box yesterday i've built another iso um this one yeah this one so let's have a look choose a disk file this one has been built yesterday 25 25th of january you can do that too people don't get that that arc links is a bit different we can build ISOs anyway, any any time you see fit, because it's a build your own ISO thing. If I can type dot slash forty and then tap, you can type dot slash forty and tap and build an ISO yourself. You can even build it on many other different Arch Linux based distros. So build your own ISO is super easy, and then you have a system. And then we're gonna dive into the Calamari setting. There is an idea, concept, a view of a user at this point in time who is creating his own ISO, who is telling people it has to be beta RFS. Stop, right? Period, it has to be beta RFS. And he gives a choice Whatever you choose is overriding it anyway with PTRFS. So the question is, isn't it better than not to give the user the choice, 
because it feels that you get a choice but you don't get one it will always be beta rfs so settings like these you have to investigate where can i do this so etc calamaris our configuration of calamaris is this so this is what you need to compare between different versions of um, distros and uh, lubuntu is another one i believe uh, that still uses calamaris so all of these guys have their own way of figuring out on our particular linux system we need to do this before that and then this can come and then that can come what do i mean it's a chronologically uh, it has to be a story that fits and this is the sequence so first this first welcome then locale but i could do first keyboard and then locale or first partition or users right it is this is up to you but this is more technical and that's more up to the linux system you're using is it debian is it uh, red hat it has to be um yeah according to the linux particular linux um their own its own how do you say its own um way of of working with different modules there are also modules that are we use but we don't use some of the models that are specifically written for ah yeah rpm for red hat and stuff like that so that's another thing but remember just the chronologically so so sometimes I, I make mistakes and i put this before that of that before this and and i say hey, why doesn't it work because of the timing right it writes one thing after the other it is a machine it goes down the list partition then mount then unpack and so on and so on so it's um something to keep in mind voila now the modules we have the partitions so you have to read eh? read a lot of things so all the net install stuff we can skip because it's basically all the same thing it's always um, gonna be uh, well a choice so we have a lot of them but packages is here partition.conf and that's the one I would like to have a look at so we have here the EFI system partition boot EFI draw nested partitions allow show partition labels true initial partition choice none this could be probably beta rfs right now <coughs> our default default here as well if you want to set things like that it's it's entirely possible now these are our choices and our parameters but it does not contain any work text what i mean by work text by that i mean if you go to the source to the modules to the partition and then we have all this to read but certainly well this and that so this is one what i'm working now on virtual machine but look at that it contains so much more so uh -huh. plain text <coughs> going for pearl so this is one of the lines i have you can set the EFI system partition size. Uh -huh, never create swap is true. We can do that as well. Use swap choices, non small suspend file. If you want to restrict that, and always say to have to use an operating system without swap, right? That those are possibilities as well. If nothing is specified, the partition is left unset. So you need to read like I'm reading now. Never create swap. That's the one we need then, right? True. Legacy settings. This will generate a warning. Oh, that's legacy. Okay. But keep on reading. Allow manual partitioning. True. No. Huh? False. And then it's not possible. Initial partitioning choice. None. something specific default is none initial swap choice is none 
default partition table type. So you read. So if we would say we want to have Peter FS by default, suggest the things we don't want to give a choice. We just want to fix it. Say it's always going to be Peter FS, no matter what. Where is then the choice to say never show big fat warning? You read just the big fat warning. Okay. So I have to read everything myself because it's an option I don't want to have. So it's an option, it's not in here. But the thing is that you can edit these things. Default file system, BDRFS, available file system. If I do this, don't show it. If I am capable of typing a hashtag, but I'm in QWERTY again, of course, right? Actually, I've developed something, a little script that says def, and that's gonna install Sublime Text Platinum Searcher, Rip Rep, Melt, and my keyboard. So I have my hashtag save so i'm saving inside this virtual machine and when i open this with a new settings right new settings being not x4 btrfs and don't show any of these things what do we get next and this is often how i figured out things to say ah the drop down is gone. There is no choice anymore. So that's one thing of doing things is, is going to go through the code and experiment. Basically, that's why I always try to say to you guys, two things, baby steps, change one thing, build, see what happens. Secondly is trial and error. Just one thing. This is out, results, no choice. Default file system, PTRFS. Initial swap space, we could do here, for instance, initial swap space. If we typed small, right? If we typed small, and what if we just omitted these lines? So you're out, you're out, you're out. This will not be used, not be read by Calamaris. Save. What changes if I do this? Next, Brussels, Belgium, next, erase disk. Boom, that's it. So many of the distributions do this option saying, I won't give the user the option to choose. It's going to be fixed. It's my choice to tell you that it always has to be BTRFS and there's always going to be a swap. And I believe it's the big swap. So the to, to, to sleep, right? To hibernate. So that's the one that's being used. But I'm not certain. So we have eight. Yeah, now we are certain. So the virtual machine I gave eight gigabyte of memory and it takes eight point and then ten percent eight point eighty gigabytes so it can hibernate so that's the choice if we've done all this so you see already immediately in this video if you change everything to this so basically delete this right it's not necessary anymore we can delete this and delete this as well because you don't want to give people the choice you tell them it's going to be PTRFS initial swap choice I did say small. Huh. 
so it's gonna take the big one anyway <laughs> good to know and then voila initial partition choice none always show partition labels true drawn as the partition is false for me here it ends right but maybe you have other questions and then you experiment further or other ideas about other modules again experiment with the same idea to i don't know pom, 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 there's nothing really that i could change that would be interesting maybe packages remove things remove things after the installation we want to get rid of calamaris and some other uh, packages so maybe this can be something to look into as well and at the top bootloaders and config finished group config yeah okay voila so the this is the thing i wanted to share with uh, some of our uh, uh, well graduates uh, shall, shall i say it so people who will or are creating have created an iso of their own and yeah if you give the user the choice to create something and in the end result the choice is not applied that gives an awkward feeling right you give people freedom to to do something but in the end you won't do it then it's maybe better that we do an easy installation change our calamaris config uh, configuration and actually tell or show there is no choice right there is no choice there is erase disk that's it and you don't have the drop downs here it will be always btrfs it will be always swap and that's it unless you want to go for a manual partitioning so that's still possible of course all right enjoy figuring out calamaris there's a lot of documentation in there so remember trial and error change one thing test out baby steps and you can do things in the live environment to have a look already ah that's what it does all right cheers